Today's design is this very cute little round robin and I've got a little trick in drawing him out to make it a little bit easier. Bits of tape so I'm just looking at my tape sizes. I've got one of those. Oh, which size about there? So they're overlapping one another. So we only need the overall outline shape. Got a bit of a branch coming across there. Now these are not supposed to be beautiful portraits of these animals. These are stylized Christmas cards. So the last couple we've done, I've put skies in the background, so I thought this one I could do slightly different. Uh, so I'm just randomly putting some water down. So starting particularly where I know this is going to be a lighter bit on the on the front here. But I'm not worried about bits that come in. Nice and loose. So I need to make up a brown. So a brown for me is the three colours, the, the rose, the lemon and the ultramarine. So if you make an orange first and then add a blue into it, you get this nice brown. And if you want it to be a nice rich brown, just add a little bit more of the orange and a bit less of the blue. So I've got this nice brown and I'm going to be adding into this but we get this nice lovely looseness about this and these don't take, as you can see, don't take very long at all. So I'm going to pick up a grey. I've got a grey that I've had made up called the only shade of grey. But a Payne's grey or a neutral tint or uh, something like that would be great. Right, again, I'm going to come back in with, with my nib. I'm scratching into it with the nib. And you can see as the paint dries, it settles into those scratches. If you don't have a nib like this, you can use a bamboo stick or one of Sharon's wonderful uh, porcupine quills. So coming in with a nice bit of that bright red. Beautiful bright red, and then I'm going to come in with the rose, it's a slightly warmer colour. I 
again coming back in with my little nib of just scratching some fluffy feather and then I'm picking up my SAA silver just putting in a little shadow underneath that belly so I'll put that in wash my brush out and just dab dab and then soften that edge So I'm coming back in now with a darker brown scratching that in Isn't he cute? The big fat belly there. So we've got a little stick for him to sit on. Let's put in a nice beady eye. And again, I'm just using this dark grey And picking up some silver just around the eye. I think he's rather cute, don't you? Just going to go in a little bit. So you can see how those scratches have worked in there. So you can see where I've scratched it and that has marked into the paint.